Hello people, I'm Vito and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey with WX78. Hello. Alright, so where we last left off, I think we did the quiz with the uh, Sphinx underwater. Yes. Don't know how he decide how he's going to get out of there, but um Yeah, there's a new session, so I'm a bit like what were we doing last other than that? Well, yeah, obviously we just discovered that checkpoint. Yeah, alright, so we just looked, it looked like we needed, like, about 70-ish moons, and we have 30, so we have about 40 more to go until we are ready. Yes, uh, all in all, for this kingdom, that's the wrong button, there is maybe, uh, there's, there's quite a few here we're still missing, especially like this big chunk here, clearly. Yeah, so... Actually, take a look at the mini-map here. I think I know where most of those moons are. In the empty spot yeah in the empty the giant empty area over there all that water that could be so yeah you could just go exploring around you could use talk to or if you feel like it's getting too difficult to find things we can always just move on to in our kingdom because there should still be a few left that we haven't gone back to right uh, yeah uh, I think what we're gonna do I think the good idea to do here is we're gonna go through this area see if I can't scrounge a few moons in this region and then, you know, heading off to the next kingdom. Sounds good. Like this. Is this a moon we've gotten? I think that was just coins. You found it with a cheap cheap. I think oh. you you died once to the to the seaweed dudes. You came back with a cheap cheap. Ah, uh, right. And that's when you realized apparently you can just dig it up by spinning with the cheap cheap. Okay, well, I don't have a cheap cheap at the, at the ready. I think you can still kill them with Cappy, can't you? I don't know. Maybe. And I'm pretty sure you did this. Yeah. No, come here. Come on. Okay. Yeah, because we just swung through this area and found the uh, the other checkpoint. Yeah, and we found, like, a treasure chest in there. I was like, sorry, a bit of this episode is dedicated to just figuring out what we were doing. Yeah. Uh, a thing there. Did I did I nab it? I don't recall this one. Oh, it's oh just health. Still usable. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be much in this region. Yeah, I guess it is just kind of an empty area. Hmm. Bummer. Yeah. Because if I'm not mistaken, no. Okay, I thought something was here. Um, Hello. It's a twap. Apparently. It's like, do I get rewarded? Nope. Oh, oh. Hello. One you, more. You missed one, that's why. Or did they just keep coming? They might just keep coming. And they don't stop coming? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they just keep coming. Oh, well. What about you? Are you the same to me? Just coins. Just coins. Do not care about the coins. We are quite uh, lucrative in our current... Uh... Coin count? Yes. Well, there's one. Just had to try enough of those little uh, shining lumps. Yeah. Under dangerous ceiling. Sounds about right. Yeah, I don't think we've ever gone underneath any of those rocky areas. What is... Okay, hold up. Let me go ahead and collect some the purple coins here. Yeah, and then I doubt we've done the timer challenge or whatever that is. Yeah, that looks like a timer challenge there. Oh. Oh, that's an actual, stuff here. actual tunnel. Not just a little alcove. And the thing. Neat. I'll take another moon. Shh, it's a shortcut. I see. Okay, and that leads you about here. Okay. I was just thinking, wait, did that did that walking uh, seaweed just sneak up on us somehow? Because I didn't notice it until it hit you. <laughs> oh. No cheap, cheap capturing allowed for this one. Yeah. There we go. Nice and easy. You just gotta be a little bit quick. 
So I, I kind of noticed something during editing that, um, you know, basically I have to rewatch what we've already done. So it can get a little boring to do the editing. Right. But I did notice that whenever I'm editing Fire Emblem, I get reinvested in what I was doing for some reason. I don't know if that's really happened with anything else, but it's a lot less boring to edit that just because of that. Huh. And I, I wonder if it's one of our more interesting series to watch in, in that regard, maybe. I mean, it's already one, one significant time investment. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's also, um, could be like a self-reflective thing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're the one generally playing the game and... You know, it's a it's a tactical game, right? Yeah. Strategic game. So you have like you've seen the future. You can legit know like how good of a decision that really was. I think for the most part, it's not even that uh, sophisticated. It's just like, ah, yeah, I see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can think of. It is. Huh. It's like, it's not even like critiquing it. Like, was that a good decision or a bad decision? It's just like, ah, I see what I'm doing here. Yes, I think that makes sense. I can see why I did that. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not it turns out okay. Yeah. Ow. Okay. All right. Now, I don't want to go swimming through this area another time, and I don't reckon people want to see me go swimming through this area another time. <laughs> I'm going to head on back to the Odyssey. Actually, wait, now, quickly, we're going to go buy stuff. Okay. And then we're going to cut it on over the Odyssey. Go over to whatever the next kingdom is, and I feel like I'm slurring my speech a whole lot. Yeah, I, I've i heard that other YouTubers sometimes do, I think, vocal warm-ups or something like that. I'm, huh. guessing, I'm guessing that might help with that sort of thing, but uh, I never do them. Well, yeah, we, we don't do them. It's just, all right, we're here. <laughs> Start recording. Do the sink, and then we're, we're starting. Uh, the shops are on the dories, right? Yeah, right. The shops. <laughs> Whoops. It's kind of annoying when the shop is kind of moving. Yeah, I was also thinking maybe... Because... Um, I don't really have time for it while I'm doing this... Editing this and uh, what I do with Robberlink, but when I when we're done with this, I could get back to potentially making compilations. And I I was thinking for Fire Emblem, rather than making like a best funniest moments compilation, maybe I should make like a like an abridged version where you can get pretty much the entire experience without waiting for me to make all my tactical decisions and all that. <laughs> and maybe cut out some of the less important conversations. Don't mind me just running out the flower. All right. Welcome aboard. I just want this. <laughs> I'll have it sent to the Odyssey for you. Actually, why does... She sounds like a mix of a character from Spl Splatoon and a character from um, Animal Crossing. You're right. <laughs> I've never played Splatoon, but... uh. I've heard the music from Smash. So, yeah. It is interesting. Okay, that should be it. We have another souvenir. Let's go on back to the Odyssey. We got places to be. Ah, huh, nice. <laughs> Real nice. All right, so that puts us... 34 more? Yeah. Let's head off to another kingdom, and as we go there, I'm going to change outfit. <laughs> so, we could go to luncheon, but I actually kind of, like... Hmm. I don't think I'll spend too much time here. <laughs> Yeah, we have been in this outfit for a long time, haven't we? Yes. We gotta change things up. Back to 64. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? 
The moon rock here is glowing too. Hmm, I wouldn't have guessed. Really now? I didn't know moon rocks glowed. Who, who thought that was a good idea? Okay. So, uh... Outfit. Yeah. That is... <laughs> Black tuxedo, um, tuxedo, white top hat. <laughs> Mix and match. Hmm. So what about the alternative? Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> it just, uh, Cappy mentioning moon rocks just got me thinking about uh, Portal 2. Because supposedly that's what the white paste is made out of. Right. Like, I wasn't sure where to go with it, though. It's like, can I make a joke about it? Can I make a reference? But I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> uh, why not? I mean, it looks bombastic. <laughs> Big head, bigger hat. <laughs> we need to show everyone that we are the smartest. Yes. The biggest brain. I think there's something going on in the plaza. Is it stew? <laughs> Welcome. Head to Peronza Plaza for our cooking festival. Fe yeah, cooking carnival, not festival. Peronza? Hmm. Mm. We prepared our stupendous stew for the fest. Thanks to our volcano, it's never turned out better. I see. Our cooking carnival is going on right now. It's a zesty fest. Yeah, I can tell the locals are getting quite upset about, you know, all of us coming in here. <laughs> or are these not locals? Well, I <laughs> just walked in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoops. I don't have any luck. Right, you can't climb that. So there is a thing here. I think that's where the moon rock is. Yeah. So we'll probably need a, uh, whatever that liquidy fireball thing is. Yeah, the, the flame ball, the, the thing it's legit just called the fireball, I don't know. Sorry if you had an actual name, we've forgotten. Can you blame us though? I mean, I guess if you wanted, you could look through the capture list, but who has time for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it sticks out of the, the lava into the not lava. So then. Ah, coins. You know, these are probably the most detailed of all the coin types. Yeah, and they're actually not flat. Yeah. They're just purple apple. It's like, has anyone tried eating one before? It probably tastes like a mix of silver and copper. That's my guess. Actually, it'd probably be closer to like a mix of silver, copper, and amethyst or something. I don't know. The only reason I'm getting silver or copper is because it's a coin and amethyst is purple. You know? Yeah. I just remember one time I was looking up like cool looking minerals. There was one that was purple. I don't know if it was amethyst. It might have been something else. But it was like a really cool looking purple color. Hmm. I mean, amethyst is known for being purple. Yeah. I feel like it was something else, but I don't remember. <laughs> also, I was, I was thinking on the topic of like, uh, them looking like food. Has there en ever been like an edible currency? Um. But then I remembered, I think in ancient Japan, rice was basically a currency. Well, I was also going to say, food in of itself is technically a currency. Yeah. Back in the days of uh, bartering, especially. Yeah. I mean, everyone wants food. <laughs> everyone needs it. Stew is too ear this time. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything. Does that mean it's more liquidy or more viscous? Each culture's spice is what makes its food nice. The best gave the... Wait. The blast gave the stew a subtle hint of kapow and blammo. 
don't tell me that's what you actually call flavors. You guys call it flavors that you jeez. <laughs> Meat is the secret to major tastiness. I'm glad you <laughs> we can agree on that. <laughs> Stew is great, just needs a dash of sand. You might want to purify that first. Was it my guy, your diet? <laughs> what did Actually, I just kick? I'm not sure. Actually I was just thinking, wait, sand. I thought for some reason I was thinking sand is just, you know, dirt and Salt, but that's not true. It's, no. it's dirt and silica. Silica, I don't think, is very edible. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't reading. Uh, he's quite a food lover. He surely popped on onto someone's head to take all the flavors around here. You take hats. in all the flavors. I swear you hats. <laughs> it's like, all right, all you humans, turn around. Let me see your hats. That might not be a human. It might be like someone else. Do you know? I suppose it could be, but it hasn't been so far, has it? Well, yeah, but we've also... I don't know, we haven't done all too much exploring. I guess we only really did it in the Metro Kingdom, though. Yeah. So I don't know. Also, wasn't there a hint art for this area? There was. Actually... Hello. Hey, Peach. That's a new outfit. <laughs> you look like a me! Between the bright colors and the little uh, delicious smells, this place is a delight. Everything here is as delicious as delicious can be. But I accidentally bit into this power moon. Ew. It was hiding in a bowl of stew. You can take it. Uh, uh. Y you mean to tell me that the stupendous stew has some... Oh, no. <laughs> that kingdom with all the snow seemed like a fun place to vacation. The people were so lively. And bouncy. I guess you want me to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that, too. Guess you want me to go back there. Hello. Hey, uh, you find any turnips? Plop them right in my soup. Gold ones, too. Oh, yeah, especially those goldies. I think right, we... this guy. Yeah, we talked to you. Yeah, we got like two out of three of them, I think. Mm-hmm. The crowd really uh, livens up the place? Plaza. Oh, plaza. Okay. What's it? Oh, I just kicked another one into this thing. <laughs> For some reason, it's really hard to read the text as it's moving across the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like... I feel like it shouldn't be as hard as it is for me. <laughs> Alright, so we're keeping in a guy out for some guy's hat. Um, speaking of hats. What do you have to sell that I'm willing to... Well, you have one thing to sell, but I'm like one coin away. Yeah. Also, if a power moon is like a source of power, then, uh... <laughs> is biting into it even safe? Is it like, uh, trying to, like, trying to bite into a tar um nuclear reactor or something. Or like a power line. <laughs> or like a chunk of uranium. Something you probably shouldn't be biting into. Also, <laughs> hold up. Let me... <laughs> game, please. I know it's been a bit, but like... Oh. Yep, there's an easy one. Oh. Well, fall jump. There we go. Okay. Is this an ingredient too? <laughs> Given what we just heard, they might think so, and I'm slightly concerned. <laughs> the flame's gone out. A sad day, I tell ya. Well, geez, way to bring down the entire party. Just because one torch went out? Hmm, we can fix that, can't we? Probably. Um. Hello. Oh. I was thinking if there's any flame Koopas, but I don't know. Oh, Drat, you found me. I thought this fellow's head was a great hiding place. Really top drawer. Here, take this. Then leave me to my foodie dreams, would you? There's like two cans of pasta back here. What are your dreams? My guy, I'm concerned for your health. I may well compose an ode to that stew. All right, so I guess you're- All right, yeah, never mind. You, you can stay here. I guess you're right. It, it's not on the humans this time. Okay, so I guess I go and hunt a, um... Yeah, because those are... Hmm. Those guys are flinging pans. Yeah, but, like, the guy in the first area. Oh, was he? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll work then. Because I was also thinking maybe you could just dive in with one of the fireballs, but I don't know if you could actually get there. Because there's... Yeah, that guy. Yes, that should work nicely. Also, hold up. Hmm, there's actually a thing here. I might well I'm gonna take a detour to do that. 
Where is... You know, they put you on a wall for a reason. Yeah. All right. What moon challenge awaits us? Oh. Oh, it's parkour with lava. I see. I'm going to call it lava. That's... We're, we're okay with this? Yeah, I think they called it lava, too. Very, you know, pink lava, but lava. Yeah. Like just the way I'm sure girls like their lava. Hot pink. Uh. Okay. For a sec, I thought the, uh, the arrow that it was pointing, I thought it went off into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the trajectory. That's the word I was looking for. Oh my. This is a teensy bit precarious, but it's fine. And then more of these boys. Okay, come on, let me into the, there we go. Ow. All right, I'm, <laughs> I hate when I do this, I've already blinked. Is this the only one we found so far in this area? The, no, we legit got a moon like over. That, that's the second That's moon. right, okay. The one that you jumped out of the fireball yeah. for. Okay, yeah. It's like I pay attention to part of it, but not the rest of it. Are you for flinging? Oh, I don't need that. Come on. <laughs> Who do you think I am? But your wimps. <laughs> now you. Ow. The timing on the... Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay. No, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's like I'd rather die than help you. Oh, well. Uh, I think it's... There's a quote from, I think it's a movie ca called Van Helsing, with, um, can't remember his name, but, uh, it's like, I'd rather die than help you, and it's like, oh, don't be boring, everyone who says that dies. <laughs> uh, Hugh Jackman, I think, was in it. Huh. Yeah, normally I don't know a lot of movies or actors, but that, that was a particular favorite of one of my siblings. So you're just not able to capture him. You should be able to. I mean, yeah, because that feels really weird if you can't. Do you have to just be, like, extra careful about it? Am I capturing him wrong? <laughs> like, have we been doing it wrong this entire time? Maybe my, my hat. Maybe my hat's too deadly. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's too big. Huh. Is it because yeah. you did the vertical toss? Well, that time I did, but like the previous times I didn't, and it didn't change anything. Hmm. All right, I have an idea before I reset this area. Where is the closest boy I can interact with you? Flame ball boy. Please, thank you. Your existence is quite useful for my plans. So, does this work? I th think so, because I think there was a sub-area you had to do that. But it would probably be a lot easier with this boy. There we go. Okay, now- I, I don't get it. I don't either. Just gotta work with it. Okay, so there's a moon there. So, now we come to potentially problematic issue. Yeah, can we safely reach- the area with the festival. Because the, the, I'm not sure how changed this map is from the first couple times you went through, but I don't think so. Yeah, because there's the, that, that, yeah, I don't think there's any land path. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what if you go to near where Luigi is? Can you climb up that, those cheese blocks? The cheese blocks? Um, maybe. Also stuff over there. Keep that in mind. I don't think I can. Darn it. Uh, no, this time we wanted to kill you. There we go. Okay. I guess I just need another flame guy. 
Hmm. Yeah, because things have changed, there could be another uh, fire Koopa somewhere else, but I'm not sure. Actually, how do... There you are. Okay. Hey, there's a way through here. Yes, we saw. Neato little place. Doesn't really do much, does it? Cannon. But you're what I'm after. Just the coins. I need the coin. Give me I, the coins. Remember, there's only like a hundred coins in this kingdom. I am like half the economy. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. Okay, it works. Nice. Okay, so I don't think there's anything... There's stuff there, but, like, this is quicker. Yeah. Okay. Hello, big guy. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you're just dead now. <laughs> It's like, oh no, I've been found out. Dive! Oh. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Huh. Actually, capturing you is going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? <laughs> right after I say that. It's like, okay, maybe not. Caught hopping at the volcano. Oh, and there's a door down there. And then there's, yeah. The thing I'm actually after. Not you. But I will do you. There's like a thing. It's right. Oh, it's probably, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, when you, when you jumped on that, uh, the slanted roof thing. I was kind of worried because I knew in Super Mario 64 that would probably cause you to slide. <laughs> there are many things that make you slide in this. It is, oh, be quick. I can be quick. S. Oh, the path behind you disappears. Well, if only that was problematic. <laughs> that was bloody easy. <laughs> Uh, we might be dead. Hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, extra health bar. And we live. But at what how, cost? How useful. Mario, my guy. I could, could you get your health back by collecting that uh, transparent power moon? Yes, actually, I could. <laughs> and here. Okay. This is fine. Okay, I think this is probably an easier version of what we saw in the dark side with Yoshi. Yeah. Stop existing. It's like, okay. Uh, it's over there. Okay. Really? That forces you to run around? That's quite annoying. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, didn't think you'd make that one. <laughs> This isn't as clicky as the GameCube controller, but if it was, I reckon you'd hear me spamming the B button. <laughs> is that? The okay. first moon, actually, I think. That's what that was. Yeah. I was just going to say, I almost thought there was like a seam on the back wall, but I think that was just the lighting. Huh. Whoa. It's fine. Oh, that's right. You got your health back. Perfect. That works. 
Now, will you still be running? Nope, you're fine. <laughs> I mean, I might as well just exit through here. There's no point in going all the way back. Yeah. A nice. All right. Well, I think we could end this here and we could continue next time. Yeah. Also, you can stand on this without sliding. Huh. This game does not force you to slide. Strange. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, we'll see you guys next time. So, goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>